Deep in a forbidden city in Ohio, I'm investigating something truly haunting. A specter of a Bigfoot ghost. Recently, I've been contacted by several people about a local legend about an orphaned Bigfoot boy that was raised around the turn of the century, only known as Ishmael. I'm Buck Bhutan, and this is Squatters. In a recent interview with Bonnie White, a local resident lives on the edge of the cemetery, she was telling me stories of strange howls coming from Ishmael late at night, usually around new moons. I'm telling you, I don't usually buy into the haunting stuff, but there's something behind this. Somewhere out here, there is a grave for Ishmael. If I can locate this, it will be a good step in the direction of collecting evidence and I'm trying to find out what people are seeing out here. As the story is told, a farmer back in 1883 had a uh, stack of large logs that tumbled over in the middle of a winter storm. The following morning, they found a dead Bigfoot mother and its barely alive baby. The family took the baby in, kept it uh, in their barn, apparently somewhat imprisoned, for about 24 years before Ishmael died. Somewhere out here is a large mausoleum with uh, patinaed greenish blue doors uh, unmarked and this is the resting place or maybe not so resting place of Ishmael the ghost of Bigfoot Is this the entrance to Ishmael's grave? Is this his final resting place? From what I hear, he's not resting. He's actually out walking the cemetery. Well, it looks like I've located the actual mausoleum that's holding the remains of Ishmael. Several people told me that it was out here in a small mausoleum. There's several, but this is the one. And the disturbing part, there are fresh footprints leading away from the crypt into the fresh snow and up the hill. All right, I'm a little creeped out.
you know, I have to admit I'm getting the feeling that I'm being watched out here. You know, you know when somebody's watching you. Maybe it's just the graveyard. Or maybe it's Ishmael. Oh, oh my. Oh. Okay, I'm out of here. This is too much. Jesus Christ.